Okay, Patrick, this is www.carburetorsandmore.com. It's your finished product. We couldn't get a hold of you to see if you want the electric choke, so I'm going to go ahead and take it off, do the test. If you want the electric choke, you can pay us the additional money, but I'm going to send you a bill without it. Okay? You got a sweet running carburetor now, buddy. Is that in here? It's not in here. Okay, that's a uh, three revving. This with your water pump, power steering, AC, whatever hooked up. <laughs> Evidently, this apparatus right here is for water. Because all it does is goes through there and out there. It's kind of the stupidest thing I ever seen. I would definitely not hook that thing up. You don't need any plugs or anything in it because there's nothing in it. With alcohol fueled and as sweet as that carburetor runs, if you set your timing correct, you won't need those things. I mean, that is really dumb. What could it possibly be good for? Because if you were in upstate, you were in Alaska, you wouldn't want ice water running through there. Unless unless there's some way you unhook the hose and hook it to your hot water tank in your house. It's really just, a, I don't know. I can't say anything about it. Okay, we got it in gear now. We're going to test it with a load on it. Hey, that ain't bad. I'm impressed. I tested a four barrel this morning and didn't have that much torque in those gears. I tested a four barrel Carter this morning. Did not have as much pull in, in the low range as that one does. It's done.